Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be um, a subscriber request video. Uh, a few subscribers have asked for this. And the video is going to be a parts list and also a cost list. Um, so you guys know what, what stuff to get for your bike and how much it's going to set you back for this build. It was a few years ago I built this bike so any items I can't find that's on my bike I'll find you a similar item. We'll start with the frame. If you check out my previous videos, I've done one on this frame, why I think it's a good frame. If you've not seen it, go and check that out. This is called the EEB frame. And uh, the tops and the sides and everything that surrounds it is plastic. Um, and inside it has a steel skeleton. The seat post mount here is steel and that is bolted through and that fastens to the steel skeleton inside. And the swing arm as you can imagine is also steel. A quick look inside the body of the bike, um, you can see I've got my controller mounted in there and there's also enough room for my battery as well. You can also see I've added some protection in there as well. Now you can head over to EM3EV on Google. Um, that's uh, the site you're going to buy your, uh, your bike frame from. It's a British guy, I believe, who's operating out of China now. Um, he also sells all your parts for building an e-bike, so check all them out and compare them to parts and prices you can get elsewhere. Uh, the frame um, comes in white and black. Um, 276 pounds um, now you're gonna have to check that for delivery I can't remember because it's a few years ago if you deliver is it uh, in that or not um, but I do know you will be paying customs to get that into the country and I'm pretty sure it's around 40 pounds if I remember correctly also your hub motor um, I've always bought my hub motors from eBay uh, and they probably are Chinese made but I've had mine for years and I've never had problems with them um, you got the minimum you want for this kind of bike is a 1500 watt hub motor, 48 volt, not a fat bike wheel, you don't want one of them. Your overall wheel size should be 24 inch wheel, your rim size should be 21 inch. Uh, I always like the black rims because they make your tyres look a lot chunkier, a lot thicker. The prices of these vary, start at a couple of hundred quid and go up from there. Um, so you're going to be looking around £300 um, to buy your hub motor and that comes with your controller, your LCD screen, your twist throttle, all that good stuff. Uh, I can't find the exact one I bought years ago, um, things might have changed, but this is one I'll show now that I found what's very similar, 295 Your battery is probably going to be the most expensive thing on your bike. Uh, this one says a 52 volt 27 amp hour battery i contacted the seller and he made me one what's 48 volt 31 amp hour for the same price 595 this is the seller i got it from uh, i haven't had my battery that long uh, it is still working fine perfect no problems with it uh, but you are going to have to do your own due diligence when buying a battery um, all i can say is the one i bought from this seller on ebay uh, works fine I've got on these downhill mountain bike forks, uh, Zoom, um, here's a quick overview of them. I've had these for a couple of years now and I haven't had any problem with them, they work fine. Now I do know this style of um, fork from Zoom. It's kind of hard off to get hold of in the UK and I have tried to find some and I have found some, they're not in this country, but that takes us around £200 a set. I actually paid £90 for mine um, because I got them on an auction on eBay, somebody must have bought them. They'd never been fitted to a bike, I picked them up for 90 quid, so that was a bargain. Uh, but they are kind of hard to get hold of. Uh, some others I've seen are these Zoom forks, they look really nice and they're only under 46 quid. And of course, you don't have to use Zoom forks, you can use whatever forks you want.
On my bike, I've got the Rental Fat Bars. Um, I do like Rental Bars. It reminds me when I used to have my motorbikes when I was younger. And £62.95p. And I've actually found some on auction for 50 quid. So always try and get your parts on auctions. Try and get them for the cheapest price. The length of these handlebars are around 31 inch, there are thereabouts. And of course, you don't need to be using rental handlebars, you can use whatever handlebars you see fit. The Mega Range Freewheel, um, I've got a previous video what shows you why you should have one of these on your bike. It's not a necessity, but if you ever try pedalling your bike, you'll know why. And that's coming in at £9.90 and £3.39 postage. Hydraulic brakes. You are going to want to upgrade to hydraulic brakes, give you more stopping power. Um, this set are a Shimano set. You can also see that um, bracket for mounting your caliper on when you're using a 203mm rotor. $44.99 and £2.90 postage. Um, these are the Shimano hydraulic brakes. And you're also going to need your hose and your olives um, for your rear brake. If you don't know why, check out my previous video. I've done a run through on all this in that. Here's another view of that 203mm rotor. You are going to want to upgrade your front rotor for stopping you to a 203mm. And you can be as fancy or as cheap as you want. Here's some for 7 Here's another quick look at that bracket, what um, you mount your caliper onto. Now there's a couple of different types of these brackets, IS and post mount. Make sure you get the right one um, for your forks. Really cheap, £5.78 posted. Crank, you're going to want a single speed crank. I didn't get a single speed crank, I just bought one straight off the shelf, um, same as this one. And I just unscrewed it, took the other cogs off it and it made it a single speed. But, make your life easy, just go out, buy yourself a single speed. You could probably get one a lot cheaper than £27.98 anyway. These are the pedals on my bike. They have got little Allen bolts sticking up so you can adjust the grip. A similar one on eBay. These are nylon fiber ones, but they do have the grips on them for $12.99. You're gonna need a seat for your bike. Here's one I found, £7.12. It isn't the same as mine, but it's a comparable one. Uh, what I do like about this one is if you have a close look at it, you can see it doubles up as a toilet as well. I've just got a cheap derailleur on my bike, uh, six speed, uh, what does the trick, don't need nothing fancy. I found um, a Shimano TX35 uh, for £6.39 on eBay, new, uh, does the trick. You're going to want a six speed gear levers as well, unless you get a set for £8.95. A tandem gear gear cable, uh, inner and outer. Um, like I said, check out my previous video so why you're going to need one of these. Heavy duty chain. This is the same chain I'm running on my bike, six speed chain. You're going to need to buy two of them because one's not going to be long enough to reach around that long swing arm we've got and you're going to have to piece part of another one together. Uh, a halo wheel, now this does say rear wheel, I should have uh, 
clicked onto that. It was a front wheel I was looking for. But anyway, £80 you're picking this one up for. It doesn't have to be a halo wheel. You can use um, any wheel you like, as long as it's a 24-inch wheel. And like I said, the rim has got to be a 21-inch rim for a 24-inch wheel. Okay. Like I say, I like the black rims um, because it makes your um, tyres look chunkier once you've got your black tyre on as well. Speaking of tyres, these are the tyres that I use. They are actually jump bike tyres. So they're very chunky, very thick, and they're a 24-inch tyre. Obviously, you're going to need two. Um, and they stand up off your off your rim two and a bit inches, two and a quarter inches, something along them lines. So they're quite thick, chunky tyres. Twenty four inch by two point three five. Now, by the time you've put these chunky tires onto your twenty one inch rims, it's giving you roughly twenty five inch, might be a little bit more of wheel. So, if you're used to a 20, 26 inch wheel bike, this is not far off. And it makes you look like you've got really chunky tyres on. Carbon fibre seat post. Now, you don't have to have a carbon fibre seat post. You can have whatever seat post you want. But this is the one I've got, and it's £22.89. This is the rear shock I'm using. It's a Fox rear shock. Uh, £179, uh, quite expensive I think, um, I actually picked mine up for 70 quid second hand on eBay on an auction, um, so you guys can do the same as that. I'll just show you the eye to eye, um, what it is on this, it's coming out about 235-240 mil. Again guys, it doesn't have to be a Fox Shock, um, I'm just showing you what I'm running on my bike. Also, there's extra bolts on this frame so you can mount a smaller shock on, so it doesn't need to be a rear shock what's as big as mine. Also, you need to pick yourself up a stem for your handlebars, and here's some for $4.99. Not only can you guys try and find these parts cheaper on eBay auctions, you can buy yourself a Dorna bike, get your forks, your seat posts, your cranks, your pedals, off something like that. And you're probably wondering, how much is this going to set me back? I'm not talking 399, I'm not talking 299, I'm talking 1926. £1,926. Pounds. Now you might have to buy yourself some inner tubes and some oil for going your brakes. But other than that, the bulk of it, it's under two grand. And when you compare that to prices of e-bikes you can buy from the shops, I think it's a bargain. If you guys are liking the videos, let me know in the comments. Hit the like and subscribe button. And if you guys have got a build going on or you're thinking about getting a build going on, let us know in the comments. See you next time.